Hi, my name is Josh King and I'm here today with Best in Class Magazine as their tech staff writer. And I'm going to be taking a look at two of the forensic imaging options on the market today. First we have uh, the all-in-one unit from Cyan Line and we also have an offering from Tableau. Now when comparing these two devices um, on their speed and their ease of use, we opted to go with an SSD to eliminate any bottlenecking that can come from the source drive. And uh, it's an 80 gig drive, uh, two and a half inch form factor with SATA connectors. And on the drive we have about three and a half thousand JPEG files, which amounts to about six gigabytes. And be running through some of the features and the differences between the two when it comes to presenting forensic evidence. All right, I've got the Tableau powered on. I've got the Intel SSD as the source drive right here with that six gigs of uh, images on it. And then I've got a Fujitsu two and a half inch destination drive and this is running at 5400 RPM. Uh, the setup is pretty easy. You plug it in, turn it on, You've got the, uh, the menu button here for some different options to format the, the drive, the destination drive. Um, then in there you've also got your checksum options and a log. And the log can be exported by, via USB, for instance, onto a, a little pen drive or something like that. Um, we'll just go exit out of here. Main menu. Simple as this, push back. Let me right, right back here. Duplicate disk. Disk to disk. And it, so you've got disk to disk and disk to file. Um, let's do disk to file in case I actually want to run a few different source drives onto the one destination drive. Go ahead and start it. Gives you an option to name this image that we're going to create uh, a case ID number I'll just put in triple A just to make it nice and simple push OK gives me a warning that the drive isn't empty that's fine and there it is it's starting right now duplicating estimated time it's giving me 46 megabits a second which is uh, 2.8 gigabytes a minute. The estimating time looked like it was about 40, 48 minutes there. So <clears throat> the key features, pretty easy, pretty simple to use, small unit. Um, obviously you're having to supply your own drive and this is kind of takes up a bit of space. Um, not the cleanest of options for your workflow you got your, your power, your SATA, your IDE, um, and then you can also have a second destination drive hooked up here. It's actually got one and two. Uh, probably, you know, if you've got really sensitive data, you're not necessarily trusting the one drive. I'm sure it has a parallel output. Um, and then, once again, the USB for outputting the log file. That's it. Pretty simple, um, set it and wait, and it's done 2% right now. So as you can see, it's, it's definitely not the fastest option. All right, let's, took it, let's take a look at the Cyan Line FDAS, and I've got it turned on, and I've uh, got the Intel SSD, that 80 gigabyte SSD plugged in via eSATA. And we're at the main menu here. Um, Disk source Intel, is that correct? Yes, it is. And we're going to make the image at the fastest rate. And I've already got one on here, so we're just going to save next to it. And it's going to start up right now. And there we have on screen time left uh, about seven minutes eight minutes for the full 80 gig which is super fast
I mean, you're saying he's going there at 11, between 11 and 12 gigs a minute. And that's all because of that RAID setup that we've got inside there. And um, that's the full forensic image, not just the data on there. That's the entire disk. And I'll just turn the unit around here real quick so you can have a see it have a look at these uh, inputs back here and what we've got is the, the power and then we've got the uh, <clears throat> power coming out for the source drive this is plugged in by the eSATA you got your HDMI as well as your DVI out and your old VGA um, your old uh, keyboard input there and then the USB of course um, so if you want to do some command line more advanced things you got that as an option with the monitor out and of course the flywire uh, for any discs that are coming in via that as opposed to an eSATA connection and we'll let this run through and I've plugged in the Ethernet there and I'll run you through the network interface uh, real quick and show you some of the features of that all right, here we are. I've connected the Ethernet and typed in the uh, address here um, in the browser. And this brings me the login. The logman is admin, admin. And uh, I'm actually going to deny that this time. And here we go. I've got the web interface here. And as you can see, I've got multiple images um, from me uh, running through and just getting multiple captures of forensic images of that Intel data um, and you can open up the text giving you the little bit of information um, the, the data about the actual forensic image the average speed all of this information it's great a lot more than the um, Tableau can give you and it's right through the um, network it's live as opposed to having to download it to a USB stick. And of course you've got the actual <coughs> information, the smart status and everything going on here. You've got uh, a lot of information. This is going to be very good for your records and um, in terms of not showing tampering. You can check on all those types of things um, for admissibility purposes. And we've got just some options here, um, the license, um, doing a check, uh, checking the images, the MD5 sum, um, all of that, you know, this is where you can set up the, the destination if you want to set up a network destination, all of those types of things, very, very easy to, to in access over the internet and you can add new users and give them limited access accounts um, just to keep everything secure and this is one of the main features that really sets this apart and into a new a whole new possibility of doing off-site data backup through a network and having a, a junior technician go to the site and giving them limited access so that you can make sure everything is everything is admissible and there's no there's no areas no shades of gray when it comes to the actual image itself so i'm just going to go ahead and log out now and uh, that's it all right to recap on our two offerings uh, from cyan line and tableau the main main thing about the tableau is it took a long time the six gigabytes took 45 minutes and to verify that the MD5 checksum was about another 25 minutes uh, that's a long time just for six gigabytes the cyan line was very fast it only took six minutes to do the data and approximately four or five minutes to do the checksum huge huge factor especially when doing more data uh, six gigs is not a great deal I'm sure a lot of you would be finding up to 200 or 300 gigs and in that case, this offering would take a significant amount of time.
The other great thing about the Scion line is that the drives are already included. Uh, you don't have to worry about a source drive. You can just plug in the destination drive and you're good to go. You've got the RAID set up with one and a half terabytes, which is plenty of space. And not only that, but you also have the ability to have the network connection as opposed to having a straight drive source with the Tableau and no networking options. Um, so for me, and uh, if it was my employees, it would definitely be the Cyan line. The Tableau is good, however, though. If it's something you don't find yourself using very often, um, you know, maybe once or twice a year, and speed is not a great deal, um, then it, it's a good option. But if it's something you're using on a pretty regular basis, you're, you're, you're involved in this, you know, monthly, weekly, definitely this is going to frustrate you and you're not going to want to use it. Um, so that being said, I hope today's been informative for you. You make a good decision now uh, based on these, these offerings. And um, thank you so much. And my name is Joshua King, and I'm from Best in Class Magazine, a tech staff writer. Have a great day.